Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently I saw this video on YouTube and it's by a YouTuber named Irina. I will link it in the description below. She basically explains and demonstrates this concept of product layering to get glass hair. And although I feel like I already have my hair care routine down and perfected, I'm always open to trying new things to get the healthiest hair that I possibly can. So in this video, I'm going to be trying trying out her whole product layering technique and I'm going to be walking you guys through it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Today is wash day and the first thing I'm going to do in following glass hair product layering technique is I'm going to brush my hair. So right now I am experiencing postpartum hair loss like if you guys can see right here and I honestly feel like it's worse this time around than it was after I had my son. It's so bad. So one of the things that she highlights in the video is just the importance of brushing your hair before you wash it because that's going to help to reduce shedding while you're in the shower. So let's just brush it out. Now we're going to do the first layer of the product layering. I'm using the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Moroccan Sleek Smoothing Oil. I feel like in the video she kind of just explains it in a way that makes sense as to why this is so important when you shampoo your hair. That, although necessary, can be damaging for your hair because of the water because it is stripping your hair of all of the oils in order to reduce the damage from shampooing on the lengths of your hair she recommends to oil the lengths before you shampoo which is something i already do but nevertheless it is very very important another thing she recommends is to twist the ends when you're applying the oils just to make sure that everything is coated because your hair has gaps in the cuticles you want the gaps in your hair's cuticles to be filled because that is going to help your hair to be more manageable it's going to help prevent breakage and damage from like brushing and from washing your hair shampooing filling those gaps is going to help to create the illusion that you have low porosity hair which is going to make it appear shinier the garbage truck is literally right outside my window i'm gonna wash my hair there is a very noisy truck that is outside so i'm sorry if you can hear it but i just shampooed my hair so to shampoo i used the redken hair cleansing cream this one does have sulfates which is something that i use normally for a clarifying wash but something that i realized from Irina's video is the importance of really protecting your hair before you shampoo especially if you have oily hair and especially if you use a shampoo with sulfates just making sure that you are protecting like every single strand of hair so next she applies a hair mask and today i'm going to use the subaki premium repair mask this is a japanese product and i am obsessed with it and i'm applying this on my hair out of the shower because i want to talk through the process obviously only apply this to the length of your hair but another thing that I got from her video is again the importance of making sure that you are applying the hair mask and just any product to every single strand of hair and that i think means like applying it in sections in her video she divides her hair and she applies her hair mask like on one side and then on the other side because that's just gonna be an easier way to ensure that the ends are completely coated and then i'm gonna take my unbrush i like to use these brushes on my wet hair they're just really gentle I'm starting from the bottom here. I'm having some resistance here. So instead of like trying to brush through my hair to untangle it, I'm going to apply more hair mask in the area where it felt tangled. All right, so let's continue. This side is all set. Now I'm going to focus on this side. I'm going to take a little bit of hair mask and try to coat every single strand. I'm now going to rinse it out because it has definitely been three minutes, which is how long I like to leave my hair masks in for. And then if I still feel that my hair is knotted or it just feels a little bit like rough, which would indicate that the gaps in the cuticles are not sufficiently filled, then I'm going to go in with a conditioner. So I just had my hair in a hair drying towel for like an hour. This is product layer number 
three. In her video, she first applies a hair cream to fill the rest of the gaps in the cuticles and just to provide heat protection and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna use for the cream is the Olaplex number no. six bond smoother. I almost forgot I'm gonna detangle my hair first. Everything is nice and smooth. And then I'm gonna do the same thing that I did earlier where I divided my hair into two sections and I'm gonna apply the hair cream. I'm doing the same thing on the other side. And then this is going to be product layer number four. I'm going to seal everything in, seal the hair cream with this Moroccan oil treatment in light. And I'm just going to coat the lengths and the ends in this product. And again, just twirling my hair like this to ensure that every single strand is coated. So far, I actually feel like this is really working. So the ends of my hair, they usually feel rough because of the gaps in the cuticle, the damage, and right now they do not feel rough at all. They feel very smooth. So I'm gonna blow dry my hair now. I'm just gonna do it in two sections. I just blow dried this side and I am blown away by the results so far. If I'm being honest, this part of my hair usually is very shiny. It's the ends that I struggle with, but this whole hair routine of like product layering has made the ends of my hair so healthy looking. It literally looks like I just got a haircut. Look at how shiny and just like smooth. One of the ways that you can tell your hair's porosity is by running your finger through a strand of hair. And once you start to feel that there's like more texture, that's when your hair is increasing in porosity. Usually it's very smooth up here. And then as I get down to the ends, it starts to feel more textured and it still does feel a little textured at the ends, but so much less textured than usual. It actually feels pretty similar, if not the same as it does up here, which I think indicates that the gaps in the cuticles have been successfully filled and my hair has been successfully protected. This is amazing. Okay, now I'm going to finish blow drying this side. I just finished blow drying all of my hair and this side feels as healthy, smooth as this side does. And one of the things that I actually think made a huge difference is just paying attention to how much product I'm applying and where I should be applying it. So when I was applying the products to my hair, I was not just like putting it in my hand and then just going like this and calling it a day. I actually tried to figure out where it felt like I needed the product more. So I know that every single strand was fully coated and I can tell because every single part of my hair right now feels the same. It all feels super healthy and shiny and smooth. And as you guys can see, it is shiny from the root to the ends. So it's the end of the day. My hair has like a bump in it from wearing it in a bun all day, but my hair feels so healthy, so shiny, shinier and healthier than usual. Like the ends 
that's really where I'm noticing the biggest difference. So the whole product layering process and regimen continues into the evening. So I'm going to prep my hair for bed with this product layering technique, but first I'm just going to brush out my hair. So before bed, she does the same product layering that she did after she washed her hair. So I'm gonna use the Olaplex number six bond smoother again, and then the Moroccan oil treatment in the light version. I know I don't need a lot, so I'm gonna just apply a little bit. locking that all in with the moroccan oil treatment light just a small amount and again starting at the bottom and then working my way up then i'm just going to take my brush and brush out my hair from the ends upwards no tangles at all in the video she mentions that she used to wear a bonnet but it was like too tight around her head which i had the same issue and then she mentions this bonnet where you can like tie it and i actually have it this is what it looks like and then it has the tie it's stretchy so it's comfortable and then of course this part like the satin part of the bonnet is really important because it's going to make sure that your hair is not getting damaged as you're sleeping and as you're laying on the pillow because when you're sleeping there's like a lot of friction between your hair strands themselves between your head and the pillow and all of that friction can cause damage breakage so that's why it's important to protect your hair while you sleep so usually i just put it up in something super loose like this and then i just take the bonnet and i tie it on the side because then it's like not in my face there you go it's comfortable it's not tight it will not fall off your head so i was gonna end this video right now but then i realized i think i am going to show you guys how my hair looks in the morning because i'm curious like if my hair will feel weighed down at all from the products layering so i will give you guys an update on that hello guys so it is actually two days later and i did not film the morning after follow-up that i wanted to but the good news is that my hair felt great the next day it didn't feel weighed down at all considering the amount of product that i had put on the lengths and the ends of my hair so i definitely think that the product layering works for my hair my hair is just as shiny as it was like the day that i started this process i love this technique i'm definitely going to keep following it in my hair care routine let me know if you end up trying out this routine and if you have any questions about it thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will talk to you guys next time